Today we're doing our first upgrade to our Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon by adding a second AMS. Why settle for just four filaments when you can double your options? <laughs> Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we're adding a second AMS to our X1 Carbon. Whether you're looking to add more colors into your prints or mix different materials or even just make your printing life easier, this upgrade may be a game changer for you. We'll walk through the setups, give you some tips about getting the most out of your two AMS system, as well as troubleshoot some of the most common issues. You're going to need two things for this upgrade, an AMS hub and a second AMS. Now let's get started. So let's see what comes in each one of these boxes. Okay, not the most secure wrapping, but... Okay, we got some cables for our AMS to connect them together. We got some tubing. Not sure how long that is, but it looks pretty decently long. We got the screws to attach the hub. And this should be the hub itself. Okay, and there is our hub. And we can see back here, we have our four pin, which is gonna connect to the printer. And we have our six pin, which is gonna connect to the AMS. Now, if you already have an AMS, you pretty much will know what comes in this box. But if you don't, let me show you. You have some cables. It also has a controller unit, which I didn't realize it didn't come with that, but I guess that makes sense because if you didn't have an AMS previously, you would need a controller unit or the hub. And this is just, I'm not going to open it, but this is just the single hub. So it's just for one AMS unit. So it came with a booklet and some more tubing and a connector and it looks like some additional screws in there um, to connect this AMS. Here we have our AMS unit itself and actually a tube is already connected. I'm not sure if it's actually going to reach where we're going to from where we're going to put it so we may have to replace this tube but um yeah pretty Ooh, look at, oh, look at this. Oh man, I didn't realize it came with spools. I mean, they're all empty, but actually that's really nice. It actually comes with some spools for the AMS. I, I know when I got my original carbon, it did not have spools in it. Um, so that's actually really cool that it has four spools in the AMS itself. First things first, always shut off your power and unplug your unit you want to make sure there's no power going to it we're going to start by unplugging the hub and that's the four pin connector and we're just going to remove that we're going to hold on to that now we're going to unscrew the ams hub now we're going to remove our six pin connector Now we're going to remove our tubes, so we're just going to push down on here and slide our tube out. And then this one may be a little tighter to do so, but we got to push down in there. And there we go. Now our original hub that was for one AMS is disconnected. We're going to take our new hub. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to inject our tube so we make sure it's in there snug. So same thing, we're going to push down and just make sure it can move around pretty easily. So here's where we're connecting our four and our six. Okay, but we're going to screw this on first and attach it. Now they gave us bigger screws, I guess. Yeah, and this one's a little bit thicker than the other one. So we're going to need to use the screws that came with the new uh, hub. So let's just get those real quick. Now we are gonna hold on to our old ones because 
if we ever add an AMS unit to a printer we buy without an AMS unit, which is totally possible, right? Um, or uh, one of the hubs goes bad, it's always worth having spare parts around. So we wanna make sure that's pretty snug. We don't want too much movement in that. You don't wanna over tighten it though either. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna connect our first AMS, which is the one sitting for us on top of the machine into the first slot at the top. And our second unit, that's our first unit. Our second unit's gonna sit up on that shelf. Um, so the tube's gonna be a little too short that came with it. So we're gonna have to cut a new piece of PTF E tubing. So we're gonna have to remove this tube. And how we're gonna do that is see down in here on the inside, there are sort of two little buttons next to the PTFE tube. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press that down and remove the shorter PTFE tube that we don't need. Okay, now that I have my AMS where I want it and I strung my tube through there all the way down to the hub, I know roughly how long I'm gonna need to make my tube. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it and then I'm gonna cut it with a razor and I'll show you how I do that. And what I wanna to do to cut this tube is I wanna put it on a flat surface. And you know, my, my bench top I made out of wood, so it's pretty durable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my razor and I'm just gonna go straight down. And you see it cut pretty smooth and pretty clean, and that's what I want. I want it to be as smooth as it could be. So now let's get the AMS connected up. Now I have my tube. I'm gonna look at it, make sure it's straight. And it is, and now I'm gonna stick it into the second AMS slot. Now I'm gonna take the second, one of the six pin cables that came with the AMS hub. I'm gonna plug it into the first AMS. And then I'm going to run it up to my second AMS. So now we're going to plug this back in. And we're going to turn our machine on. Now let's get our filaments loaded. Now that everything's loaded into the AMSs, we could go into our unit themselves. And we can see here, we have our two AMS systems. So we're just gonna load everything up with what's in there. This is generic PLA and it is blue. Confirm. Now, as you can see here, we have all our colors selected. You can also assign all your filaments with inside the Bamboo Labs app. Now let's paint this little ladybug spots in different color filament. As you can see here, the X1 Carbon is using both AMSs. Look how cool this little ladybug came out. We have white, black, red, gold, purple, dark gray, blue, and light gray. Now, there are a ton of other reasons to use multiple AMSs besides making articulating toys. So some of the advantages of using multiple AMSs are creating functional parts. Advantages to using two AMSs for functional parts include being able to use multi-materials for the AMS with other rigid materials in order to make, say, for instance, a tool. You could also use them for support materials where you load up your support materials in one AMS and your functional materials in another. One of the other big advantages is the time savings. If you have your AMSs preloaded, you don't need to, you know, take out the filament, put filament back in. For instance, in mine, I plan on using one for my pretty common colors like black, white, gray, where the other one will have colors that I'll swap out more frequently. Think about how you could use it to prototype, create really cool tools with multiple materials, as well as creating some wearables, especially things for like cosplay. With two AMSs, the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon is now a multi-material, multi-color, 3D printing powerhouse that's gone beyond the four colors.
If you found this video useful, make sure you give us a like and a follow. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.